Hello all. This video is going to be about um, moving your personal folders such as documents and pictures, music, etc. onto another hard drive or if you've done so a partition. But in this case I'm going to use another hard drive. So to show you what I mean, I made another virtual machine hard drive and called it backup and a new folder called places. go to the start menu go up to the top where it has your username just click that and these are the folders I'm talking about contacts downloads favorites my documents etc the only folder you don't want to move is desktop and depending on how you have it set up don't move app data if you don't see it don't worry about it first thing we have to do though is we'll go back to the new uh, hard drive, open places, and uh, you can sort of do the uh, snap thing or whatever it's called, and just take contacts, hold down the control key, downloads, links, favorites, links, searches, save games, videos, pictures, music, documents. Okay, so that's 10 items, and just copy here. Once that's done, you just right click on each one you've done, each one you've copied and you go to properties and you see location in this one hit move and go down to the right, the left side, backup, places, contacts, select folder, hit apply, yes, yes place all and select OK. Now we can do, I'll uh, pause the video, I'll do the, the rest of them so you can see. OK, I've done that. Um, all of them, the, uh, the user folder, you might get some remnants left over like uh, pictures or uh, videos or something. You usually just uh, hit the delete key. I, I have mine set up so it doesn't prompt. However, if you click the my videos and you highlight the uh, address bar you can see that it's moved to that folder e places videos and same thing uh, if you go to your library videos go to location and show, it shows you where it is you can also go to the start menu and uh, go to computer and then you'll see the backup drive and then there's the places folder and just to double check that everything's there. And uh, you can customize the icon, whatever. After that, you can drag it into the favorites, like I do here. So no matter where you are in Explorer, it's right there. Okay, so that's it for this one. And uh, any comments, questions, uh, feel free to add them. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.